generic greetings and welcome back once again to Academia School Simulator where in the previous episode we got quite a bit done. We, in no particular order, got the research done for the better water pump and the wind turbines. So we got rid of our solar our solar farm, call it farm, it was like four or five panels on the left, and then instead we've got these wind turbines up here. We also did the similar thing for the water, which we put in this corner, which means that in terms of cash flow, you can see that actually we're getting more income in water and electricity, so that is pretty good. We can't sell to the grid, even though I believe it did pop up there, unless it's hidden somewhere else that I can't see, but either way, that is pretty much sorted. We've got a couple more grants done, mainly down the bottom for like skilled workers and things like it was the fast cooks and we're working on leftovers there. Oh, naturally we had to do the same thing for the water pumps and that, but overall that was pretty good. We also then increased the size of the art room by building up this section and uh, coincidentally because obviously we've moved that over, we had a bigger space for the music room, which is now why we've got a much bigger room as well. So pretty happy with that. We also got some more students, specifically up to 200 now, which means uh, meant rather we have to get more more teachers which is exactly what we have done in this and subsequent episodes we are going to basically be managing the place and checking to see what we need in terms of staff I'm also very tempted to plan where we're gonna have some more classrooms on the left hand side and most probably move over the kitchen to their clinic over to the left and then increase the size of the canteen but that'll be that'll be a future thing for us we'll have to see how far we get on with that let's just uh, repair that toilet cubicle there and check our report so i want to check our sanitation looks like sanitation is actually really good delinquency however we've got 22 delinquent students and we can set some of these into counseling but i don't know if we've got these maxed out or not it doesn't look like they have been there we've also got options for clean cafeteria and clean toilet but we haven't got that set there the counseling is there which is the most effective i think it even says up there delinquents will be count uh, will get counseling it's expensive but also the most effective so yes that's what we'll end up doing i don't know if we want another monitor it does feel that way that maybe another monitor would be of some benefit in fact i'm going to hire one additional monitor there we're re currently researching leftovers which takes a while to get there it's uh, six hours i think in total but increase food pr uh, production by a hundred percent which is pretty good if it's going to double the amount of food that we're producing however i don't like the fact that the staff go constantly through the kitchen so uh, yeah the preferred route would be that way i don't think we can set we can set our priorities but that's just to if you place something you want them to specifically clean that or build that or whatever rather than a walkway. Anyway, so you can get, see delinquent students have been set straight, a couple of them there, which is pretty good. Uh, it looks like to be a fairly dirty place at the moment. I'm just double checking here. Yeah, you see there's several of them that can go on to counselling there. When we had our previous grading, because this is year six now, if we check our previous grading, we got a B plus grade, but our delinquency was the one we had the most problem with. So, you know what? I think another monitor, because we have to, in order to set them straight we have to first find if they're uh, well have to make sure that we know who the delinquents are at first that is the most important one so yeah and then obviously we have to go over and work on setting them straight which we've got none free there we've got some free uh, delinquents have not yet been caught by monitors so we're still doing that same there and yeah most of them are actually there anyway so that's fine so we've got 30 detention um 30 detention there but we've got other, others in counselling. I don't know whether we need more counsellors. I don't know. Um, I'm very tempted to hire another counsellor, but it is four grand and I have nowhere near that amount of money. I do, however, have a little bit of money remaining. Um, well, tomorrow, 11 grand. Although, if we look at the grants, we have currently school keeper, which is research by land and then buy school lot one. Although, I'm very tempted to cancel it and i think i will because yes i think instead we want to go for you got accept junior and senior transfer students and at the end of the day we do have space so i'll accept junior and senior and rowdies are freshmen but there's 10 of them and accept sophomore yes and then freshmen they're all five each so that's pretty good. We've got Rowdy and Truant, but we don't want to do that. Achiever is 25 silver achievements. The Keeper is by land. Uh, increases prestige, which is why we're doing it, basically. Okay, we'll set that going. So we've got six grand, so I do think then another...
counsellor is in order. There you go. Obviously, that is still going to... You can just see how much money you get for... We've only accepted a total of 20 extra students, but that money's gone right up, even though we've just done uh, more... We've got more counselling and stuff in there. Speaking of that, let's double check. 19 in total there. See, they are getting caught, which is good. And we are setting straight. Currently, we've got 1,332 per day salary cost for these three counsellors. So, and they're not running any sessions. So, hmm, we'll have to see. Anyway, you can see that the students are coming down to get some food. And it looks to be all full. So, that is exactly what we want. In terms of the... The students needs you can see there's a food need there there's some fun needs that's not getting fulfilled bladder and hygiene always goes down anywhere safety is maxed out which is good and discipline's there energy is pretty much maxed out i'm very tempted to bust the students in it's something that we've never done outside of just getting it done technically so you can see bus, bus usage if i max it out can i type in there yeah 55 55 55 55 it will cost 2640 to bus the students in um i'll do that tomorrow i'll, I'll see what the i'll see what the deal is see if it works out obviously when they walk when they walk in they do use some energy i believe so yeah i don't know if it's a thing we really need to do but we'll see how we get on with it so yeah, uh, 2 p.m. there. Just going to see where they are. Ah, oh, that's our new classroom getting used, which is good. And some students still coming and going there. You can see, obviously, they're not totally maxed out. And some of them will be heading to other places. Like, if another AV room. and Basically, another set of rooms on these would be quite good. I'm very tempted to to do that but we'll have to see i'm also tempted to put another swim pool in but i think because of the way it works you only need the one whereas the courts it's best to have i believe the two although it looks like they're only using one even though we've got these are set to one yeah so some of them are just sitting they're not using the other court i thought something like that may occur but there you are in terms of the staff cafeteria we could expand it but hmm don't think we need to, to be fair. It's just a bit bare bones at the moment. You can see we've got some delinquent students in counselling there, and some of them have been set straight, which is pretty good. Down to 16 now, so already we've shaved four off, and we're also caught another one as well. So catching them uh, in the act is, is one of the most important ones, to be fair. Either way, let's just continue on, see how we go. Hmm. Today's beverage is actually a fairly, mm, uh, fairly cold cup of green tea. Let me finish this off. <sighs> Not very tasty at all. Okay, uh, emergency beverage. Always keep a stack of beverages handy. Right. So uh, this beverage is uh, what is that? Raspberry cordial. Hmm. Yes, raspberry uh, squash. Tasty. Right. So uh, end of this day. So first. Uh, first end of day for this academic year and we can see that well no we can't see it because we're going to the next day uh, and there we go warning your funds are running low yes yes they are you can see that we're on already um, 10 and 12 of that one there and that's all right so hopefully it will continue going up a bit faster actually because quite frankly if it's just going up at that per day we'll be stuck in the 90s and all of the students are here I didn't see them come in. <laughs> I don't know. Hang on, hang on. Some of them are walking in now. I didn't see the bus. This is just a general bus stop, so anyone can come in. And loads of bullying incidents. What's going on here? And a monitor has chased the goon out of the school. Oh, there you go. So they're in there. And there it goes, the goon. <laughs> Change of plan, Leggett. <laughs> there he goes. And they're off. <laughs> Excellent. Um, let's check here. We've still we've got 18 now, sadly, um, delinquents. So that is slowly going up. I wonder if you get, if you put them all to, if you get this to zero, is that it? Like it can't be, it can't go any further. I assume perhaps. I assume not. I assume not. Um, anyway, and speaking of the bus stops, so you can see we've currently got a bus stop there. But if we go to zone, you have got freshman, sophomore, junior, and senior bus stops. So do we want to increase the size of the bus stops and have one of each one? I'm I think that would be quite good, wouldn't it? So let's go ahead and do that. It seems to be like a, a reasonable thing, although with the money that we have at this stage, I think I'm going to go to... Ah, damn it. Ten grand to buy land. I would like to do that, but it's expensive. What else can we get? 
Don't want fancy fencing our landscape. Good teachers would be good. Increased worker range. Yeah, we'll go for increased worker range. I just want to build something while we are waiting on. So in terms of the bus stops, that is one, two, three, four, five, six by three. So we're going to remove that one. So we'll say remove zone like so. And then we'll go to the... Hmm, what should be closer? I don't think it really matters. So six by three like that. That's the freshman. And then sophomore junior and then the senior like so that is fine and then what we'll do is go over to hmm i'm also tempted to put a wall down there because then it means they'll walk along here actually no what they'll probably do is come there and they'll do that yeah they'll actually they'll do exactly what's happened there people have mentioned about extending this right down here and putting the putting it that way that yeah that would that would also probably work too anyway over to building and to concrete and then we'll place the concrete along like so to get that sorted although no i'll cancel this section because that's building over bits we've already got because you can't have multiple layers of it which is something i often forget in terms of the bus stop we do need to place some benches in there so the benches go in there there and then there followed by the bus stop there there or the bus signage rather in there as well and that's it pretty much in so let's see if that works out better in the next day because i didn't even see them come in and some of them did actually walk in so i don't know whether that was um yeah that or not uh, you see that's actually been dismantled i think they are actually dismantling the grass Yes, dismantled grass, so they are actually dismantling that to put the rest in, which is something I'm pretty happy about. Right, okay, that's cool. That's done. So, let's go over to our blueprints, and we're going to start to measure out these classrooms. So, the classrooms are 8 by oh, 8 by 8 internal diameter, naturally. So, it's actually a total of 10 by 10. So, let's go ahead and go to our wall outline, and we'll have another class in here. So, that would be that size i believe let me just double check internal is eight another internal is eight and we have a random event which we will accept so basketball rivals your rival school has challenged you to a basketball game on their school grounds it will cost money to send them there so we can say 750 you have an excellent pe teacher who can guide your team to victory 75 percent chance must have a peach PE teacher with knowledge greater than or equal to 90, so we don't. We can say you have a basketball court where your team can practice for the game. 50% chance to gain prestige, but it's cost 500. Oh, we're not interested in playing. I will say... Let's go for the mid-ground. It was a nail-biter, but you were able to beat your rivals. Plus 100 prestige. Bang. Excellent. That's what we want to see. That's what we want to see. Back over to our blueprints, then. And we'll go over to the wall outline. This will go across... And then similar to that one there, and that's now in. I'm very tempted to do the same thing again. If I guesstimate that, that is wrong. I can already tell that it is wrong. So we'll go to raise, get rid of that section and that section. Double check with the ruler there, that is in it there. And then the wall outline, which will go up here. And yes, yeah, something like that, followed by that. And then on this side too, like that. And there you go. So there's our classrooms. If we built it like that, the other option would be to extend to the far left and then have the central corridor there. I have a corridor in the middle rather than to the edge there. And that would probably make a bit more sense. Although, not sure. Because this is definitely going to have the entrance on this side. Whereas that side there, yeah, that'll have to do. That will have to do. This will go up and then across. And it be something like that. And we'll erase that section there. And just thinking, what do we want to make over there? Well, a music room and an art room would be quite good. We've already got a quite large one there. Another science room would be good. AV and computer lab is possible. Very possible. Because at the moment, these students here, these are just in the freshman classrooms. They're not getting any tutoring in, in any of the special rooms. Oh. Montes Chase to Goon. How did they get the common area in the first place? <laughs> There's only one, two, three ways into the facility. Four ways into the facility. Five if you class the one that's staff only. So just 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 put CCTV around. 
<laughs> Surprised there's nothing, not, uh, nothing like that in. Um, on the left, this is where we could possibly have our extra clinic, but I was thinking of having the clinic up here. So just expand up like that, and obviously we've got more room up there as well. Okay, but temporarily, something like that, this will become a big library or perhaps even a common area because at the moment we don't have a common area big enough for all of the students, but we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Current research is uh, nothing, and we can go for faster workers, which we will do. And after that, I think it's just getting better teachers, getting ones with, like, the... I don't know what it would be. What we've got at the moment. We've got master's degree. So, bachelor's, master's, and then... Yeah, the next highest one. And then you get special one, I think, as well. Hmm. What if you get doctorate? Loads of delinquent students being set and straight. That back down to 16, which is something I'm happy about. Most of them are in counselling. Doesn't look like we need all of these counsellors, so perhaps it's... Do I want to get rid of them? Because they do seem to be... Doing paperwork, doing paperwork, doing paperwork. Yeah, there's not a lot going on there, but mm, I don't know. See, it says they're currently running, but there's no students over there. So I wonder if the students are on the way and it's just classes them going there. In terms of sanitation, it does look to be a bit dirty, but according to this, it's not. It's not too bad. And there's another delinquent student set straight. We are trending down with it. No, that's pretty good. Oh, now 41. Oh, it's because they've moved. And also, the garbage is fairly full as well. And there's a... Oh, dearie me. So you can see, this goon is influencing this student. So we've kicked them out. That's obviously how you get some delinquency in there. So, yeah. No, you shouldn't be here. Move. I like the way he just sort of taps him on the shoulder and then points in the direction. And then, yep. Just absolutely scarpers off. See you later. There you go. And he's off. <laughs> fair enough. Fair enough. Anyway, that's all fine. So, we'll max speed out and we'll wait for the next day. Let's have a quick check at our rating here. And Montrose just another goon out the school. Is that correct? Mm, that might have just been the one that we just had there. Oh, no. no there's another goon there, so we'll kick out. They do seem to come in waves. I don't know if there's like a, a sort of goon convention down the road and they just happen to come here um ah wow there's huey who's left our school let's see why that is the very first one and also right early on in the in this one here i never feel safe at school one they did have some bullying incidents there um all right that that could be a potential problem delinquency is We've still got a bit of delinquency, but it's like 15 students out of 200. That's, I would guess, a very good... Feels like a, a, a good a good grade. Um, do I get rid of this counsellor? I don't think we need them, you know. don't think we need them. So we're still on the to-do list. Research, buy land, and then buy school lot one. Do I need it? No. Am I going to do it? Probably. What are the other options? Accept rowdy transferees. No, that's all rowdy freshman students and rowdy and uh, truant freshman students. We can't do that because, well, currently we have 55 out of a maximum of 60. School expansion at 300 is not going to happen. The achiever is possible. You see achievements on silver. It's well, it says they get a total of. 25 silver achievements. And we've got 10. Which ones are we close to? Master of Employment. Hey, five and stuff in all of your schools. Well, let's admit it's this school. Um, I mean, we can do the, jun the junior router. That's easily done. School closure is an achievement for failing. Hmm. Uh, war on P. <laughs> we can easily do that. Earn 50 grand from vending machines. Well, at the moment, we, we, well, we've only sold 195 things. So they're not really used at all, those vending machines, are they? Hmm. So I don't think that grant is something we can 
do, but anything to increase our prestige is pretty much the way forward. But, uh, let's see, I'm waiting for the students, and I want to see if they yeah, all right, they are, they are going to the bus stop. Oh, right, do you need seating for each one? You do? Right. That changes things, and you can see loads of students are just walking off. Right, so we need just loads more bus, we just need to increase the size of the bus stops massively, don't we then? Okay, let's see what happens in the morning, we'll see what that's like, but certainly yes, more bus stop, more better. Here's the order of the day, and also more, yeah, it's dirty everywhere, hopefully they can clean that up in the morning. But yes, yeah, certainly increasing the size of these bus stops is the way forward. I'm going to wait to see, oh there's, there's a school bus, oh yeah, so they're all getting off. And then stop there and wait. Oh no, there you go, look, they're all getting off. But then we'll probably have some walk in anyway. I mean, that bus is like, it's either the TARDIS, or, hey look, there's loads of them that not, not using the bus stop. It's either the TARDIS, or it's like a clown car. <laughs> okay. So they came, they came, um, most of them came out that way, so that's fine. That's good. Right. Um, what I'll do then, I will start researching good teachers. And I want to then increase the size of these bus stops. What I'll do is I'll move them over to the left-hand side a bit more, get rid of all of them, and then have the bus stops go right to the back here. And completely, like, just pave over this entire thing. And then have loads of, seat, like, loads of seats. So we'll deal with that next episode. As always, hope you have enjoyed the video on the series thus far. Comments in the comments. Thanks very much for watching. Take care. And generic partings.